Hey everybody, it's Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be more of my collection. This time we are going to go through all of my brow products and we're going through half of this drawer because we've already gone through the other half. This is mascaras. Since uh, I don't think this video will be that long, I'm just going to do both of these all in one shot. Plan on swatching any of these. If you want to see me swatch some, just let me know and I can do a swatch over on TikTok or Instagram. But I'm not going to do a swatch video uh, of all of the items because I've already done that. So without further ado, I want to organize my brow products out and I will be right back. All right. So I went through and organized a little bit more and... I have separated out in three different sections, actually no, four different sections of my brow products. Uh, the one I have the least of are going to be clear brow gels and I only have two. Neither of them have been opened besides the Wander Beauty that's in my project pan. So I have this brow gel um, from Give Them Lala. It is a clear brow gel. It's still in the wrapper and everything. Oops, Give Them Lala. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not, but upside down. Yeah. Yep. It was upside down. Sorry about that. So it says, give them Lala. Blurry to me, but I don't know if it's because I can't see shit. So there's that. And then I also have an Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is also a clear brow gel. I think you guys can see that. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. So I have those two. I have a bunch of pencils. I have some colored liquid brow gel things. And then I have three pomades. Uh, this one is from Broadway Colors. It's the eyebrow kit. Looks like there is a... Yeah, there are two different color brown. And then that is like a... A clear brow gel kind of thing. It's a jelly formula. But I have those, and it does have a mirror on this end. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure where I got that from. And I have, again, the one that is in my project pan from um, Sorme. And then I have this one from AOA Studios. I got this for the um, full face of AOA. Comes with a little brush and then two different shades of brown. And then last but not least, the Billion Dollar Brows. And this is in the shade Taupe. This is actually not my shade. Um, actually, uh, it's a little light for me. I'm going to keep it though, just I might use it. I know I said I wasn't going to swatch anything, so I guess I lied. Let me grab out a wipe. Okay. So, so far that's what I have for clear brow gels and pomades. Um, really hope that I'm charging. I am charging. Okay, good. Uh, hopefully this doesn't kick us off because I'm at 5% but I do have the charger cord plugged in. Next, I'm gonna go through my pencils. I have two of the same color uh, e.l.f. brow pencils. They're the exact same color. They're both neutral brown. I've used them both. Okay, so this one doesn't have hardly anything in it, so I am gonna toss it. This one has that much in it, so I will keep it. Then I have this. This is a liquid one. It is from Ico Brow Liner, and it is in the shade Medium. And dried out. Yeah, it's kind of dried out. So this 
I'm tossing as well. Plus it looks a little green. Then I have this um, Makeup Forever Aqua Reset Brow Filler. I got this from Influencer. It is a, let me wipe that off. It is a decent shade. I mean, it's dark enough. It's darker than some of the other ones I have. So I will be keeping this. I have an AOA Studios pencil that has never been opened. Keeping it. I've never used these or opened these. This one from Real Her. I could not find a color anywhere on it. So I did have to pull it out and look at it. And it's still on the actual component itself. It doesn't have a shade name. It just says I... I am strong, and it does have a spoolie on one end. And that is the, the shade. This is a, like, very, very defined pencil. So, I mean, it is my shade. It's this top one. It is my shade. It would work well. It's very, very thin. So I am going to take it out of the box and just put it in the container. Then last, for the pencils, I have this Precisely My Brow from Benefit. And this is in the shade Warm Light Brown. So I'm not sure if this is going to be my color. Again, most of these came from uh, boxes, subscription boxes, or, you know, as a, sorry, or as um, something from Influencer. So this one, it took me a minute to build up. I don't think I've ever used a brow pencil from Benefit, but is the very top one. So, I mean, it looks like it would be a decent shade. So I will be keeping this one as well. Then lastly, I have these like mascara type ones, but they're colored. Uh, for brows. I should have prefaced that. First one is from NYX. I believe I got this from Tanelia Kim. I'm not sure when it stopped recording, but I do have this NYX uh, that is a pencil. It's not a mascara wand like all of these other ones are. Not sure if you saw the Bella Argent. This is also in dark brown. I'm going to leave these um, it says it's a tinted brow gel, so I'm guessing it's like a mascara wand. Let me just open it to be sure. This one I am going to have to open. Yes, this is also a uh, mascara wand type. So I'm going to take this one out of the box. So this is another pencil. It is a um, ink it's ink, so I don't want to open it and have it possibly dry out. I am going to stick this one back in the box uh, just because I my battery is critically low, so it keeps uh, dying on me. So I'm going to put this back in the box so that I, I know that I need to uh, use up other ones before I start using this one. And my last one is from Benefits. It is the Brow Setter. Again, probably got this in Ipsy. This is in Warm Deep Brown number four. And looks like it's a full size. You guys know what the benefit brow thing is. And then there is my brow products. I will come back once my battery is charged a little bit and we will get going on the mascaras. Push it back maybe. There we go. So in this box, we have my eyeliners, which we've already done. These are all the mascaras that I have. And I need to grab one of the mascaras out of this thing here and put it into my project pan so that we can use it when the other one goes out because it feels like it's getting very low. So I'm just going to grab out my 
mascaras because like I said, we've already done the eyeliners. As you can see, we've got several in boxes. This is just um, a set of mascara wands that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then all of these, of course, are my eyeliners that we've already done. So I'm going to set that aside. And then here we have these. So I'm going to try to set you guys up a little bit better and organize this a little more. And then I'll come back and we'll start talking about everything, okay? Okay, guys, so I just realized that I hadn't filmed any of that. Uh, I had gone through everything, but I'm going to go back through everything now. So let me just pull out all of the ones that have been opened to the air that I know for sure. And then these are the brand new ones. I'm going to sort them again. I have an elf one that I purchased myself. I have these AOA Studio ones I purchased myself. The rest of these came in um, subscription boxes or like this one I think I got in a Walmart beauty box or maybe the Meyer box. Plus, you know, I have the one that is in my project pan. This is the Maybelline Colossal. I will be adding another one because this one is getting um, feeling rather empty. So I do want to put another backup in there so that I have a backup for when this one runs out because it will run out before March. And I think I'm going to put this Ico one in there because this one I used in my last year's project pan. I like the brush. I like the way the mascara performs. It doesn't run like the Snapscara one that I ended up tossing because it literally melted the second the setting spray touched it. So I'm going to add this one to my project pan for the backup. All right, and then let's go through the ones that I have purchased. This one is obviously from e.l.f. Uh, the only ones that are colored that I know of are these two. Um, this one is a primer and I have another primer over here that are different colors. So there's that wand. It, yes, it looks weird. It's really a weird brush. But I don't remember me having any issues with it. I don't really remember a whole lot about it. I don't remember if I loved it or hated it or what. So this will go back into the container for future use. This says it's a three-in-one mascara. I got that when I was doing my full face of e.l.f. I'm going to pull out my two eyelash primers because I don't use them. This one is from AOA Studios. It is fat lash and it is white. It is a white primer. I'm going to be giving these both to my friend Jennifer. This is the Luna Magic uh, Viva Pink. And again, I don't use lash primers, so I'm going to give them to her for her to try out. Then we have this AOA Studios Big Boss. I purchased this when I did the full face of Shop Miss A. Let me know if you want to see another video of that. I have asked a few times, nobody has said anything, so I haven't done it. But if you would like to see a full face of Shop Miss A, let me know and I can do that again with the stuff I already have. Then we have these two. This one is in dark green and this is in dark blue. I don't know if I've used these or not. I mean, as you can see, they're still really creamy. They are hard to get back in the container once you pull them out. I could have used this blue one in my look today using the Cara Beauty Cancer Palette, doing a brown and blue look. I should have probably used this mascara. And then we have these. This is the mascara that I used today. It is from Tartless or Tarte. It is the Tartiste Tubing Mascara. I don't know what that means. It is a very thin brush. I don't like these kind of minis because the bristles are longer than the actual handle. But I mean, it went on okay. It applied okay. It didn't run when I put on my uh, setting spray. This one I got in, I believe, the Meyer Christmas Beauty Box or Winter Beauty Box. The bristles on this are nice. I don't know that I've used it, but obviously I've opened it, so it will go over here into the 
already used or opened. Finding Ferdinand Lash Lift. Was this one that I did in my last project pan? Or was it that other one? I don't know. It's still wet and creamy. It's not dried out or anything. So I'll keep that. I like these um, thinner wands for the lower lash line. I like the fluffier wands for the top. So like this would make a good lower lash line one. It's from El Maquillage. And then lastly is the YSL. If you watched my Ipsy unboxing video, you know that I did unbox this because I was talking about the fact that the wand is kind of bent. I mean, that's the only way I can describe it. It is bent or just not on right or something. But I, I did open this one when I did that video, so TikTok has started the clock. Now for these, I know that for a fact that, well, I'm pretty positive that I got these three in the Busy Beauty box. I don't believe I've opened any of, I don't believe I've opened this one or this one, but I'm not positive. But I'm still going to keep them in here and I don't plan on opening, opening them in this video. So I guess let's start with the ones that I think I got in my Busy Beauty box. I know for a fact I did get this one in there. This is the Pacifica uh, Vegan Collagen Fluffy Lash. Of course, I'm pretty positive. Yep, it is in the shade black. Is that upside down? Yep, that's upside down. It says black right there. Let me... I'm putting everything back in the boxes. I'm not opening the components or anything. This is a pretty hefty dealio. I know that I've never opened this one, so it will go just back in the box so that I know for a fact that you know this one has not been used at all. So I'll just put it in here. Then we have the Galactic. What does that say? Lash Play Duo Mascara. Does it, it, it doesn't say the shade, I don't believe. It says mink. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's maybe the shade of it. I'm not opening it to see. Does it? Oh, gosh. Okay, so this one may have a dual end as well. Or not as well. This one may be a dual ended one. Um, so it may have a thicker wand here and a thinner wand here. I don't want to open it because I don't want TikTok to start the clock. I'm pretty positive this is in the shade black. It says mink. I don't know what that means. I don't know what shade mink is. I'm guessing black. I don't know. So if this is a color, I will find out. But as of right now, I'm going to assume it's black. This is the Scandalize from Rimmel London. I don't think I've opened it, so it's going to stay like that. And then we have these, the Better Than Sex. I don't believe I've opened this. I'm pretty sure I got this in an Ipsy box. And I know that one of these I got in Ipsy and the other one I got in my Tarte um, Make Your Own Bag thing. They're both in the shade Black. I did not realize they are the exact same, same mascara. They are the Lights Lashes Cam or Lights Camera Lashes. They're four in one mascara. So they they are the exact same, just in different components. This one is in a purple kind of leather thing. And this one is just in a yellow leather component. But they are the exact same mascara. All right, and then I have the Beauty Jasmine Beauty. This is also in the shade Black, I think. Did I? No, I did not find the shade name on this one. This is still in the cellophane wrap. It will remain there. This I got from Ulta probably as an add-on or something, or it, I may have purchased it outright. It is in the shade Jet Black, and this has the kind of like the Pixie by Petra, the mascara that I really, really loved where it had a thinner wand and a thicker wand. So that is one of these. 
I have had this before. It is the Drama Bomb by Uma. I remember, I don't remember anything bad about it. So, you know, I'm happy to have it. This is a hefty one. This feels really, really heavy. It is the Studio Makeup Limited Edition Volume Intense Mascara. And this is in the shade Black. And then we have the Laura Geller Lash Boss Bold Volumizing Mascara or Volumizing Brush Vava Volume for Mega Lashes is what it says. So those are my mascaras. Let's count them. I did not count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are ones that have not even been opened yet. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 2021. So I have 21 mascaras and I only have two eyeballs and I didn't declutter anything. Yep. I have lots of mascaras. All right. Okay. So we have now gone through a lot. The next video that you will see, my hair is a mess. I also, I still have left as of today, and today is February 14th, I still have my lips and then all of my palettes. I did want to say that I did find two more brow products when I was putting everything back in there. I have a Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow and El Maquillage Brow. So I'm just going to spoolie on one end. Just going to swatch these to see if, yeah, this one still feels, feels creamy. It's very, very fine pencil. Well, that's nice. This is the Wet n Wild. And then Il Maquillage. Let's see. This one kind of tugs a little bit, but it does warm up. So I'm, I'm going to keep both of those. I'm just going to stick them in the... With my... Uh, pencil thing, my Bob, swatch my jigs. So now we have gone through a majority of the makeup that I have. I also don't ever want to feel, don't ever want anyone to feel like I'm bragging about, oh, look at all the stuff I have because I'm not, you know, I, I've worked hard to get the stuff that I have and sometimes feel guilty after making a purchase, wishing that I wouldn't have, and I would have put that money up for something else. But it is what it is. Now, if you wouldn't mind, be ever so kind and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you're notified of each and every upload. I do upload at least three to four times a week. Just depends on the week. And as always, guys, remember to be kind to one another. You know the rest. <laughs>